Well, total new listings for resale and new construction were up 7.9% from uh, last year at this time. We had about 4,528 total listings. Now we have about 485. Again, more competitions coming to the market. Our pending sales are actually up a little bit over last year. We're up 2.4%. Uh, we were at 3,523 pending sales this time last year. We are up to 3,606 now. So things are still moving fairly rapidly and it's just a great time to list your home. Our closed sales are up 1.1%. We were at 3,345 closings uh, this time last year. We have 3,382 closed thus far this year. Our days on market over our total uh, market between new construction and resale are up 4.2%, uh, which is not a whole lot. We were at 72 this time last year and we're at 75 this year. Median sales price has increased 5.5%. Good news for our sellers. Uh, we were at 235,000 medium this time last year, and we've creeped up to 248,000 currently this year. Our average sales price has creeped up as well. We're at 5.5% better uh, than we were last year. Last year, we were at $259,725 year to date and we are at $273,928 average sales price. Our percentage of list price to sold price has came down uh, 0.4%. Last year we were getting 96.7%. Uh, looks like year to date this year we're getting right at 96.3. So not a huge change. Looks like we're getting basically still 96% of our, our list price. The affordability has gotten better for both new construction and resale this year. Uh, we are about 3.2% better off this year. We were at 126 last year. Uh, this year we're at 130. So it's that's good when positive. It's positive when you see the affordability numbers go up. So at the end of the day, I think of looking at the overview of the market. Uh, there are some people that are needing to sell stuff fairly quickly. Prices are coming down a little bit. There's I think some a window of opportunity here around election time and at the end of the year maybe to pick up a deal. Uh, some people are tired of waiting. They were used to the market where things flew off in a week or two. That's not the market we're in. We're in 60 days uh, on average right now. So buyers, it's would be a good time to get out and try to find something. There's a lot more inventory to look at. Sellers, you're still holding your prices are going up on average um, for the right house and the right properties. But uh, I would advise you probably to go ahead and get your house on the market if you're thinking about it because next year we feel like the market's really going to take off. Um, and there's going to be uh, more competition. Everybody's going to kind of jump on that. So sometimes the best time to sell is when everybody else is scared to put their houses on the market for Christmas or something like that. Uh, that way the pool of buyers is out there, jump on your property and not have all the competition of the others coming to the market. It's very hard for a buyer to make a decision when he's seeing three or four more new homes every day that fit his criteria versus, hey, there's only three or four homes out in the market that actually fit my criteria right now. So sellers, I would be getting my house on the market. Buyers, I'd be selective. I'd be looking for the right deal.